Jeff Brown is a geopolitical <coughs> excuse me, analyst who joins us. Jeff Brown, welcome to the program. If you want to take a look at the way that uh, the U.S. is uh, approaching China, um, th th there's a whole host of issues here, from uh, arming it to um, the most recent visit, for example, uh, from a Pentagon official. Where do you see, um, or how do you see the U.S. Uh, down the road uh, when it comes to this issue, uh, and, and, and what are we going to see China do in return? Well, there's not a lot that uh, the United States can do except, you know, play King Kong, you know, and uh, they, the United States knows that Beijing is already providing Moscow with non-lethal assistance for several months and that this, to, to directly to aiding and abetting Russia's war effort, Blinken even admitted that, <laughs> lethal, non-lethal, there's nothing that the there's nothing that the United States can do except, you know, just the, 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 you know, Africa and Asia and South America and, 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 and North America, you know, about how powerful they are. Wang Yi, meeting with Blinken in Munich, said that the strategic partnership between Moscow and Beijing is a sovereign right of two independent states, and China would not finger pointing or even coercion targeting China Russian relations. So nothing's going to, if, if Russia asks for aid, military aid, China's going to give it and the United States can do to stop it. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, we, we know that uh, obviously the U.S. is very sensitive about this. Are we, are we looking at a, a, um, at a reaction that would go beyond just sanctions when it comes to China? Because we know there's tensions in the South China Sea, for example, and a whole host of, host of issues when it comes to China. Would, would the U.S. do any moves there? It, they can't even sanction China because it is the world's factory. It is the world's manufacturing powerhouse. It makes everything for the world. It's the importing economy. It's the number one importing economy. It's since 2014. Even the IMF and World Bank said in purchasing power parity, uh, it has been the biggest economy since 2014. They tried to, they're trying to sanction Russia. Nobody's paying attention. Even the Europeans and Americans are cheating the Russian sanctions for oil and gas. And they're going to try, and they're going to try to sanction the the world's big, the world's manufacturing manufacturer. It would. It, it would it plunge the the world into a global re, a global recession or depression. So, and I sure don't see anything happening in the South China Sea because, as you and I have already discussed, another China's military is so powerful there. The supply chains from from Los Angeles and Seattle to Taiwan and the South China Sea are. are and the U.S. the U.S. Navy and military is in such sorry shape that there's all they again can do is just play King Kong and beat their chest and try to look and try low cop you know the omni omnipotent global cop and I think everybody you know pretty much understands now that that's really not very true. Okay, thank you very much for that, Jeff Brown. We appreciate it. Geopolitical analyst there talking to us. Thank you.